welcome to Blind Date. <laughs> oh, don't stamp your feet, it's not safe. <laughs> I tell you what, I'm learning a lot about dating since I've been doing this show now. Like, and what you should say and what you shouldn't say. And I've got some advice for the ladies in the audience and at home. <laughs> Never ask your partner if you're getting ready to go out, does my bum look big in this? <laughs> because you'll never get a truthful answer. Do you honestly think he's going to say, yeah, it looks massive? <laughs> Don't turn around in an enclosed space because you'll take the world down. <laughs> You can show Avatar on that in widescreen. <laughs> They're just going to say, yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah, because they've got the coast on, they want to get in the pub, don't they? <laughs> See, the world's coming out there. Yes, we've got three young offenders operating this. <laughs> That's it, move yourselves, or you'll be back in Boston before you can say Judge Judy. Do you hear me? <laughs> My God, look at that, it's massive. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> it is impressive, though, isn't it? How big is it? About eight inches. Is it? Hang on a minute. <laughs> I'm talking about a beard here. <laughs> Just in case, you know, <laughs> I thought I'd better clear that up. <laughs> you two are going camping. <laughs> I like camping. Do you? Yeah. Do you like camping? Yeah, I, like camping. Yeah, I can't yeah. think of anything worse. <laughs> Honestly, if it hasn't got room service, I don't want to know. <laughs> and then you're lying, and then a cow comes in and heaves against the tent. You're lying there holding the baseball bat, terrified at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I was camping on a council estate, that's probably why. I hate weddings. I do, I can't stand them. And do you know what I used to hate when I used to go to a wedding? Coming home, you know, when I was a teenager, the aunties would always say, You'll be next. <laughs> You'll be next. This is for the twigs. You'll be next. <laughs> So when I used to go to funerals with them, when we'd come home in the car, I'd say, you'll be next. <laughs> I'd shut them up, I can tell you. <laughs> right, then. Let's hope that our single man can handle these three bitches and... <laughs> if you'd let me finish. <laughs> these three lovely bitches and their owners, cos they're all lady dogs. <laughs> Have you met any nice women in the UK? Unfortunately, I haven't so far, no. <laughs> What's wrong with you, Sharon? <laughs> for a good-looking cricketer come all the way from New Zealand gagging for it, and you're all thin. <laughs> Honestly, I'm terribly sorry. They're all very, like, stiff upper lip over here. And that's not the bit you want stiff, is it, really? <laughs> Gonna be one of those nights, is it? <laughs> and you're quite the social butterfly as well. Yes, probably. Out every <laughs> night. And you've not met a nice man? Sometimes for a day or two, but no, on the... <laughs> I love this. I love it! <laughs> That's it, my girl. <laughs> Treat them like tissues, disposable. <laughs> yes! Save it all like socks, one of the two. <laughs> and your bed's never cold, is it? Darling, it is sizzling. <laughs> <laughs> is this because of your electric blankets? Yeah, is it? No. It's a sexy accent, though, you know, the Dublin accent, isn't it? No, it is, really. So those girls, I love it. Uh, well, it's quite similar, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so I can't understand anything you both say. Yeah. You can't <laughs> understand. <laughs> we could say what we liked about him now and he wouldn't be able to understand they us. They defend themselves, it's great. This is this. <laughs> you pride yourself on being the perfect gentleman on a date. I try to be. You know, when you open the doors, it, yeah. manners don't cost, so... Exactly. Take the chair out for them, pay for the meal. It's got to be done. You've got to be careful. <laughs> Look, you've got to go in here, yeah. Cos you see the age of chivalry dead, isn't it, ladies? I've found if I open the door for somebody and they walk straight through a woman and don't say thank you, I'll let it slam in her gob. I <laughs> <laughs> say, you right. <laughs> I do. Can we just deal with this age thing? How old are you? 36. And how old are you? 29. Well, that's not much of a difference, much. is it? I was it? just teasing them, that's all. Uh, and do you like older fellas? I do, yeah. Yeah, how old? How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'm in. I'm 33. <laughs> I mean, honest to God, in gay years, I'm Jurassic. I'm telling you. <laughs> seriously, I'm pedodactyl. <laughs> you wouldn't be Tinkerbell by any chance in Panto this year. I might be. Yeah. Are you on the wire? Yes, I am. I love it, do you? 
Yes, it's, it's fun to fly and it's good that I'm small, so I'm quite light, so they can The just... harness hurts a bit, Oh, yeah, it does. It? You've just got to keep smiling. Uh, uh, yeah, OK. <laughs> they swing you, don't they, back yes, and forth they do, across yeah. the stage? Cos I remember when Scylla did it, God bless her, I said, in any other country where they swung a pensioner across the stage <laughs> on a bit of rope, <laughs> it'd be classed as a criminal offence. Yeah. <laughs> i tell you both a big fan of mistletoe, so uh, we're going we're gonna to bring a little bit in now, oh, and you can oh, have... Oh, Tool. Yeah, go ahead and then get wired in. <laughs> oh, was that a cue? Sorry. <laughs> well, I'm not waiting for the turkey to come down and go gobble, 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 am I? <laughs> go on, let's have a lip lock underneath that mistletoe. Okay. Big Christmas kiss, <laughs> go on. That's a nice. <laughs> 